deed. Make the Quran easy to understand and remember. Then, is there any that will receive admonition? Class, As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullah Wa alaykum salam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh Alhamdulillah Last time, we have tried to learn 20 nouns Alhamdulillah, now we are familiar with these 20 nouns let me ask you a question that which thing is commonly shared by all these 20 nouns? Yes? Tanween. Tanween. Now this uh, Tanween is a sign of indefinite. It is regarded in Arabic as indefinite article. This is the reason why if you recollect I translated this word a book a flower, a pen, an eye, a chair, sky, a door, a room, a loaf of bread. Uh, any, any, not specific noun. This is known as what? Indefinite, not specific. In Arabic, it is known as nakira. We have known certain rules for this uh, Arabic so if you turn to this rule, that is our rule number one, which says that with some exceptions, generally, the final consonant of a noun, if it is indefinite, carries a tanween, either an, in, or un. Now our definition mentions that with some exceptions. It means there are few nouns which are not carrying mean but may be regarded as indefinite. So this particular definition is very important. Let us go to this example analysis. That is, we just take a noun from our text here. Kitabun, kitab, kitab. In this word, bun is the final consonant of a noun, kitab. And it carries a tanween un. Therefore, it is indefinite. It means a book. If you permit me, let me take rule number two. Rule number two says generally nouns ending in this ta or this ta are regarded as feminine. Both these ta's are regarded as the tanif, that is the of femininity. Now let us try to look at our 20 nouns and try to spot which nouns end with both of these stars, please. Can you identify? Yes? Zahra. Zahra, it ends with this ta. Yes? Imra'a. Imra'a, yes? Bin. I'm afraid, you see, we have to look for this ta, ta, ta Imra'a. And Imra'a, as far as Imra'a is concerned, nobody would regard this as masculine. Imra'a is conventionally feminine. If somebody would say Imra'a is masculine, then mental hospital must be recommended. So, now here, Ghurfa ends with this ta. Zahra ends with this ta. Ma'ida ends with this ta. Now, there are certain exceptions, and we must try to know these exceptions. There are few nouns which end with this tanis, but they are not treated as feminine. They are treated as masculine. For example, this noun. Who can read this? Khalifa. Khalifa. Now this noun, Khalifa, 
and with Mista, but Khalifa is not regarded as feminine. Khalifa is masculine. Likewise, this noun, Palha, Palha, Palha also ends with this ta, but it is not regarded as feminine. Now, there is third rule that parts of the human body which are in pairs are treated as feminine. Can we spot nouns, parts of the human body which are in pairs? Yes. Ain, ain. A person has got two eyes. So, parts of the human body which are in pairs are regarded as feminine. And you are right, yad, a person has two hands. So, yad is also regarded as feminine. Now, if we turn to this, our rule, which says parts of the human body which are in pairs are, according to Arabic usage, regarded as feminine. In example analysis, ayn, an eye. Yad, a hand, an arm, and a hand are parts of the human body. A person possesses twice and two hands. Therefore, both nouns are feminine. Both nouns are feminine. There are certain nouns which were originally feminine, but with their usage, during the restitute of time, they drop their ta of tanif. And uh, those two are the sama and shams. Sama and shams. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed in the Quran. Sama. Sama. Because of their historical origin, this is treated as feminine. Like uh, shams. Shams was originally Shumaisa, Shumaisa. So you can see that the turn is here, Shumaisa. The Institute of Time is changed into Shams. And that's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed in the Quran as Shams. And if we quickly go to this our rules, it says that some nouns do not end with this ta, that is the ta, Tanis, feminine ending, but because of their feminine usage, they are regarded as feminine, like Sama and Shams. Historically, both nouns were originally used as feminine. And uh, let us see, there are some conventional feminine nouns. Can you spot conventional feminine noun? Yes. Imratun. Imra'a. Um, um, yes, these are conventional feminine noun. So, if I conclude this, and if I make a statement here with you, that this column and this column, both these columns are comprising of masculine. All these rules which I presented to you, four rules, can we apply these rules to the nouns in this column and this column? Treat them as feminine? No. No, because they do not fulfill those conditions. Just try to see kitab is masculine, a book. Column is masculine, a pen. Kursi, masculine, but masculine. Khoz. Masculine, known in Arabic as what? Muzakkar. Good. Raju. Masculine. If somebody regards the feminine, then mental hospital. And voila. Masculine. Tariq. Masculine. Ab. Masculine. Mal. Masculine. As far as uh, Tariq uh, is concerned, that it can be used for feminine as well, because there are certain nouns in, in Arabic which can be used for both masculine and feminine. 
what I suggest is just go to the text and try to read our text. Kitabun wa zahra, a book and a flower. Qalamun wa ayn. Qalamun wa ayn, a pen and an eye. Kursiyun wa sama. A chair and a sky. Babun wa qurfa. A door and a room. Khubzun wa shams. A loaf of bread and a sun. Because in the cosmos there are many suns. Rajulun wa mra'a. Let me translate this. Rajulun wa mra'a, a man and a woman. Waladun wa bint. Waladun wa bint, a boy and a girl. Tariqun wa ma'idah. Tariqun wa ma'idah, a road and a table. Malun wa yad, that is money and a hand. Let us go to the text and try to read our text. Kitabun wa zahra, a book and a flower. Qalamun wa ayn. Qalamun wa ayn, a pen and an eye. Kursiyun wa sama. A chair and a sky. Babun wa qurfa. A door and a room. Khubzun wa shams. A loaf of bread and a sun. Because in the cosmos there are many suns. Rajulun wa mra'a. Waladun wa bint. Let me translate this. Rajulun wa mra'a. A man and a woman. Waladun wa bint. Waladun wa bint. A boy and a girl. Tariqun wa ma'idah. Tariqun wa ma'idah. A road and a table. Ma'un wa yad. That is money and a hand. Now alhamdulillah, we have made progress. Now what I am trying to do, I am just turning the noun. And please let me know what noun I am turning. And this here? Qalam. Qalam. A book. Kursi. A chair. Yes? Ba. A door. Yes? Khubz. A loaf of bread. And here? Rajul. A man. Yeah? Walad. A boy. Walad. A boy. Tariq. A road. Abun. A father. Malun. Money. Malun. Money. Hada. 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 Had is a demonstrative. This used for masculine singular. Masculine singular. Used for masculine singular. Masculine singular, according to our scheme, we call it M1. M stands for what? Masculine. One stands for what? Singular. M1. M1. In order to say our tongue, which is very precious to us, instead of saying masculine singular, we'll say what? M1. M1. M1 means what? Masculine singular. So here, if I say like this, this is a book. Now, is in Arabic is already understood. There is no word as such for is. So, Hada Qalam. This is a pen. Hada Kursi. This is a chair. Hada Bab. This is a door. Hada Hobbs. This is a loaf of bread. Hada Rajul. This is a man. Hada this is a boy. Hada Tariq. This is a road. Hada Ab. This is a flood. And finally, Hada Mal. This is money. In the Quran, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks to mankind, 
a large number of interrogations one would find. And for that purpose, it is essential on our part to get familiar with interrogative particles. Interrogative particles. Please remember, in the Arabic language, there are nouns. We have, alhamdulillah, learned 20 nouns so far. There are particles and there are verbs, which we, inshallah, will learn through graded progression. So, when uh, we say nouns, particles, and verbs, this ma, this is a particle. Ma, what? Ma, what? Now, let us try to apply this interrogative particle and the class can, now you start to speak in the Arabic language. Just see now. Ma hadha? Hadha kitab. Hadha kitab. 100 out of 100. Correct answer. Hadha kitab. Wa ma hadha? Hadha Hadha qalam. Ma hadha? Hadha kursi. Hadha kursi. Hadha kursi. Hadha kursi. Wa ma hadha? هذا باب ما هذا هذا خبز هذا خبز وما هذا هذا طريق هذا طريق ما هذا هذا مال you know it isn't it yes هذا مال this is money هذا مال and just see that all those nouns كتاب Qalam, Kursi, Bab, Khobz, Tariq, Mal, which we pointed out, they are inanimate nouns. For inanimate nouns, we are required to use the interrogative particle Ma. But what about the animate nouns? Do you have animate nouns with us? Yes. Which are they? Rajul, Rajul Walad, 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 and Ab. Rajul, Walad, and Ab. For animate noun, we, we are required to use instead of ma, what? Man. Man, who? Man, hadha? Hadha Rajul. Hadha Rajul. Hadha Rajul. Man, hadha? Hadha Walad. Hadha Walad. Hadha Walad. Man, hadha? هذا <laughs> هذا ومن هذا من هذا ولد ولد ومن هذا هذا رجل هذا رجل هذا رجل ومن هذا هذا أب هذا أب هذا أب, هذا أب هو هي هو هي and that is what that is according to our scheme that is third person, third person, isn't it, M1, 3, M1, third person, masculine, singular, 3, M1, simple, instead of saying what such a long to save time, in future, what are we going to use, 3, M1, third person, masculine, singular, so who is what? M1. Third person, masculine, singular. Third person, masculine, singular. Now, be with me. Man huwa? Man huwa? Huwa rajul. Huwa rajul. Huwa rajul. Huwa man huwa? Huwa walad. Huwa walad. Huwa walad. Huwa man huwa? Huwa ab. Huwa ab. Man huwa? Huwa walad. Huwa walad. Huwa man huwa? So, man hadha? Hadha ab. Hadha ab. Wa man hadha? Hadha walad. Wa man huwa? 
هو رجل هو رجل ومن هو؟ هو أب هو أب هو أب Now let us go back to this our unit two which we just started and uh, please try to see the rule number five which says that the particles uh, what and who are used for interrogation. Ma is used for masculine and feminine inanimate nouns. And man is used for masculine and feminine animate nouns. Let us take rule number six, which says that this is a singular masculine demonstrative pronoun for demonstration when the object for demonstration is very close. And rule number seven says, Hua, he, is the third person singular masculine personal pronoun. So Hua is third person masculine personal pronoun. And how we abbreviate it? 3M1. 3M1. If a masculine inanimate object, kita, a book, is identified as nearby, the interrogation is raised with ma, what, and ha, the, this, ma, the, what is this? The answer to the interrogation is ha, the, kitab, this is a book. And please note that we have used all these nouns deliberately as what? Masculine. All these nouns are masculine. Man hua, who is he? And man who is a particle and is used for the interrogation of masculine and feminine animate nouns. Here it is used with the masculine pronoun hua, he. Man hada, who is this? Man can be used for interrogation with hadha provided the object for demonstration is animate, singular, and masculine. In both these interrogations, if the object is a man, then the answer will be hadha rajul. This is a man. And we should know that all these nouns we have used as what? Masculine. You'll be with us. And inshallah, we are going to make the progress. Because the progress which you are going to make is a graded uh, progress. And inshallah, in the next class, we'll try to revise and make progress. Thank you very much. Barakallahu li wa lakum wal jameel muslimin innahu ta'ala dawadun kareemun malakum bar raufur rahim ar rahman ar rahim